How's it going guys, I'm back to a short tutorial on how to set up your PlayStation 4 controller to the PC so we can actually play video games with it. Now when it comes to setting up a PlayStation 4 controller, we do actually have native support for it, at least today inside Windows 10 and inside the Steam store. So we don't actually need to install any kind of third party software or emulators like we did in the past when we wanted to set up, for example, a PlayStation 3 controller. So it's quite easy to just plug in and play uh, with a small, you know, a couple of steps you need to do in order to get it working. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys uh, a few things that we need to fix before we actually do start playing with it after we plug it in. Because there's a few things with the uh, PlayStation 4 controller that's quite annoying when you just plug it in that you need to turn off inside Steam. So the thing we need to do now before we get started is we need to make sure we have everything that we need. We need to have a controller, of course. And we need to have the wire that comes with the controller or with the PlayStation when you bought it. Uh, so we can plug it into the computer. Now you might be asking, what about wireless? Because wireless is much better and you don't have to use a, you know, a stinking wire going back and forth from the computer. Now, if you want to, you know, play wirelessly, you need to have something called an adapter. And the one that you need is something called a DualShock adapter, which is not something I personally own. I do actually have one for the Xbox One because I'm using Xbox One to to play on my PC, uh, not typically my PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, but if you want to play it wirelessly, you need an adapter like this one. And you can buy it inside any kind of electronic store that you know sells PlayStation equipment, or you can buy it online somewhere. Now, what I'm gonna show you guys is how to do this with a wire. And it's pretty much the same process with the adapter, I think. Uh, so what we're gonna do is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my wire, which is the typical wire that comes with the PlayStation, and plug it into my computer. So now that I've plugged in the wire to my PC, I'm gonna go ahead and wait before I plug it into the controller because we don't need to do that just quite yet. Uh, the first thing we need to do inside Steam is to set up the controller and it's not gonna allow you to do that if you plugged it in from the start. So what we need to do is before connecting the controller, open up Steam and then inside Steam, I'm gonna go ahead and test this with Dark Souls 3, because why not? Um, inside Steam, up in the right corner, we have a controller icon that says Big Picture Mode. I'm gonna go ahead and open that because this is a uh, mode inside the Steam library or inside the Steam application that is meant for controllers. So I'm gonna open that so we can actually get access to the settings that we need to you know, touch on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, let's load it down. Uh, go inside my settings up in the right corner inside big picture mode, which is up here. And inside settings, we have something called controller settings which is where we need to connect the controller. So inside the controller settings, we need to actually allow PS4 configuration support. So we check it off. And then you guys will see we get a, a short message saying, you need to make sure the controller is not connected because we did that already uh, before you say, okay. So we do that, okay. Once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and connect the controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. So now that I connected my controller, as you guys can see, I get a small light inside the controller. Uh, because I already set up this controller once before, uh, I will not get a pop-up that says you need to, you know, click OK or do something first. Uh, you guys probably will. Just go ahead and click OK because there's no settings in there you need to change just yet. So once you click OK, you're gonna have whatever I have on my screen here. And once you do that, we do actually have the controller connected. Now, before we can actually use it, because it's gonna have a really annoying feature enabled from the beginning that pretty much ruins the entire experience when you wanna play with the controller, uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up a game. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back using circle, uh, go into my library. What you guys will also notice is that we can't actually use the directional buttons because it's not set up as a default. Uh, you need to use the analog stick to move around. I'm gonna go into my library and I'm gonna go ahead and open up Dark Souls 3. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it. I'm gonna say play. And once we start up the game, I am gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get into the Steam uh, navigation or into the Steam menu for the controller. As you guys can see, I get a small pointer moving around the screen here, which is actually because I'm moving my controller around. This is what we need to disable. So now the game is loaded up and it's actually buffing up the menu. It might be kind of laggy for you guys because it's not actually uh, a screen recorder that's inside my game recording mode. Um, but as you guys can see, I can actually move around the mouse cursor using my controller, which is not what we want because of the gyroscope that's inside the controller. So I'm gonna go inside the game and just open it up. 
Okay, so now I'm inside the game, and as you guys can see when I move around the controller, right now my character is turning and twisting and doing all sorts of things. So we want to disable that because I can actually use my analog stick to do the exact same thing, which is the typical thing you do on PlayStation. So we need to disable the, um, what do you call it, the gyroscope inside our controller. So in order to do that, we're gonna click the PlayStation icon on our controller, and then I get into the menu where we can actually go into controller configuration if I go inside of it, you guys can see we can now remap and change some of the settings on the controller. So there's quite a few, a few things we can do in here, including turning off this annoying thing. So inside this menu here, I'm gonna go down to what says mouse in the middle here. As you guys can see, it's highlighted and click it because this is the gyroscope settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the style of input from mouse to none. So right now, if I go back, you guys can see it's not working anymore. I can actually do whatever I want to, you know, to do. It's not moving around. So now I can just use the controller or the analog stick in order to move my character around and I can, I can actually play with it. So this is what we need to do in order to get the controller working using Steam. Now, if you guys are interested in how to, uh, you know, get this working with Windows 10 without having to do Steam, uh, at the moment, I haven't made a tutorial yet. If I have made one later on, I'm gonna put an annotation just around right over there and you guys can click it and see how to connect it using Steam, uh, using the Windows 10 operating system in case you guys wanna play an Origin or something. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.